Challenging the barriers and treading new frontiers, medical science functions at the forefront of change. Every single day, medical personnel confront a new crisis that has a possibility of mushrooming into an epidemic. To provide solutions, science must rely on its workforce to face the threats, and for this, it must ensure their complete safety. One mistake and the results could be catastrophic. When operating in such life-altering situations, there is nothing that is too small or negligible. In this film, we will be showing you about personal protective equipment. You know, for all the public health activities, you have to protect yourself by using these personal protective equipment which will cover your body, your face and give you 100% protection from any harmful effect of the biomaterial which you are handling. Besides this, you will be shown about simple safety precaution like hand wash, which is going to be one of the very important sheet anchor in managing the safety in totality when we are handling with public health emergency. I hope that this film will be quite useful for you. Personal protective equipment or PPE refers to highly specialized clothing or equipment for protection against infectious materials. Medical workers who work in close proximity with cases that are either carriers or suspected to carry infection are recommended to wear PPE for protection to ensure complete safety. Before starting the process of wearing PPE, ensure that there are no personalized hand accessories such as rings, bangles, wristwatch or mobile on your person. The process of wearing PPE is as important as PPE itself and the steps should be followed in the correct manner to ensure that the purpose of wearing PPE is not undermined. The first item of the PPE that is worn is the footwear covering. Aided by stretchable elastic, the covering snugly envelops the feet. To make sure that the cover is properly placed, wear them while being seated. After wearing the footwear covers, the hands need to be sanitized before proceeding. Hands should be sanitized using soap and water or microbial hand sanitizer. Soap should be applied generously using running water for more than 40 seconds. When using microbial hand sanitizer, apply liberal quantity of the hand sanitizer on your palms. Rub vigorously for at least 20 seconds, making sure that no part is left out. Unfold the gown and roll it over your head. Using your hands, zip up the body gown and tie the strings behind your back. Make sure that the hair is neatly placed inside the gown. Straighten the gown around the neck, cuffs and overall to be certain that it fits well. In case the gown is small, use two gowns to cover any place which could be exposed. Apply the headgear once the gown has been properly fitted. After placing the head cover correctly, 
put the hair in place. Ensure that hair doesn't stick out of the headgear. Fix the sides and apply the Velcro locks. The three-layered surgical mask needs to be opened before putting on. Ensure that the folds are pointed downwards and the inserted metallic clip is on top. Using both hands, hold the upper strings and take them behind your head. After appropriately placing the mask on the mouth and the nose, tie the strings behind your head. Now repeat the same action with the lower strings. Adjust the strings and the metallic clip to fix the mask tightly around your face, leaving no gaps. To ensure the mask is fit properly, conduct a fit test by blowing air into the mask. If the air leaks around the nose or at the edges of the mask, then readjust the mask. Put on the goggles for eye protection. Fix the band of the eye goggles to ensure that the goggles are properly placed. The band should be placed over the headgear. This would also ensure that the headgear remains in place. The hand gloves are the last item of the PPE to be put on. It is advisable to once again sanitize hands before putting the gloves on. Hand sanitization is perhaps the single most effective tool against the spread of infection. Hold the glove at the upturned part and roll it over the palm as you go along. Pull the glove all the way over the cuff of the gown and then holding the edge of the folded part, roll the glove down. This way your body will not come in contact with the sterile part of the glove. Repeat the same exercise with the other hand. Once both the gloves are on, stretch and lock your fingers to ensure proper fitting of the gloves. It is very important that the wearer keeps the gloves away from coming in contact with any part of the PPE after putting them on. After the mask is worn, it should not be allowed to loosen up or dangle around the neck at any time. If the mask gets damp, it should be immediately replaced with a fresh one. While replacing the mask, hand sanitization is a must before applying the fresh one. The discarded mask should be correctly disposed to avoid being reused. In case some item of the PPE, like goggles or mask, need to be changed, then one should always use a fresh pair after performing hand sanitization. While working with PPE, the medical worker should limit contact when it comes to items and surfaces. All PPE items have contaminated and non-contaminated areas and the wearer should exercise extreme caution. Once the work is done, the PPE items will be contaminated and great care has to be exercised to ensure the proper disposal of the PPE. The process of removing the PPE should be done in a place that is clean and dry. PPE should be removed at the doorway before leaving the patient room or in the anteroom. The respirator should be removed outside the room after the door has been closed. Before embarking on the process of removal, ensure that the place has hand sanitizer and the biohazard bag for disposal. First to come off are the hand gloves. Insert the index finger under the glove and roll it up in a manner wherein it slides over itself as it comes off. Slide the index finger of the free hand underneath the second glove and roll it inside out over the already free glove. This way, the hands would not come in contact with the contaminated surface of the PPE. Once the gloves are off, they must immediately be thrown into the biohazard bag. Unzip the gown using your fingers. Pull the cuff outward as you pull your hand inside the gown. Using your hands from inside the non-contaminated area of the gown, take the gown off by pulling it down. As you pull the gown down, go along rolling it inside out. This way your hands will always be on the non-contaminated side of the gown. After the gown is completely rolled off, dispose it into the biohazard bag. Pull the band from behind your head and take the eye goggles off. Discard them by holding on to the band. 
Untie the lower strings of the three-layered surgical mask first and then the upper strings. Ensure that you do not touch the contaminated portion of the mask and discard it holding on to the strings. Undo the Velcro lock and discard the protective headgear. Slide your fingers beneath the elastic into the non-contaminated area of the shoe cover and roll them down as you take them off. At every stage as you discard each item of PPE, it is advisable to perform hand hygiene as it reduces the risk of coming in contact with contaminated substances. If the medical worker observes that hands have become visibly contaminated at any stage of PPE removal, they should be washed immediately before proceeding any further. Normally, medical workers are required to wear a three-layered surgical mask, but in the eventuality of dealing with live virus or suspected patient, it is advised to wear a particulate respirator such as the N95. To put the N95 respirator mask, place it on your face in a manner that it covers the nose and the mouth. Using the other hand, pull the lower string over your head. Once the lower string is comfortably placed, repeat the same action with the upper string. Once the strings are in place, use the index fingers of both hands to firmly clasp the metallic clip over the nose. This would custom fit the respirator over your face and will ensure safety. To ensure the mask is fit properly, conduct a fit test by blowing air into the mask. If the air leaks around the nose or at the edges of the respirator, then readjust the mask. If the mask is correctly placed, air should only come out from the front portion of the mask. In the case of the N95 respirator mask, roll your fingers beneath the band of the respirator and remove the lower strap first by bringing it over your head. Follow the same process and get the upper strap over your head. Without touching the frontal area of the mask, discard it into the biohazard bag. No matter what the duration of interaction with any suspected patient or sample, healthcare workers must exercise hand hygiene every time they come in contact with respiratory secretions. The well-being of the nation largely depends on the safety of the medical workers who toil hard in the field and labs across the country to combat infectious agents. The correct use of personal protective equipment strengthens their resolve by keeping them safe from the very infections they battle. Let us now see how much we remember about how to use PPE correctly. What does PPE stand for and what does it protect from? PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. PPE protects the healthcare provider from exposure to blood, body fluids and respiratory secretions of the suspected patient. What can one do if the mask gets damp while working in the field or lab? Change the mask immediately. Do healthcare workers need to wear N95 mask at all times? No, this is required only when performing aerosol generating procedures such as intubation, mechanical ventilation or when collecting samples of a suspected patient. What is the first item to be removed with regard to PPE after finishing work and why? The gloves should be removed first. This item is the most contaminated 